My name is Jennifer Binden. Uh, I live in Red Deer or Red Deer County um, and I work and practice in Red Deer. I do what I do because I love it. It's an absolute life's passion for me to support women in our community, to offer choice in childbirth and in healthcare. I think it's so important for women to be able to have options and have choices um, and being a midwife affords me the opportunity to offer those things um, and to help women really learn to own their health care and uh, to really own their lives and, and own their choices. So um, for me midwifery is, is a passion and it's not something that I could ever imagine not doing. People. We're definitely in an age right now where it's kind of hard to find inspiration and it's hard to imagine how we keep going when things are hard and when things are challenging. But I think the number one thing that we need to remember is that we are community, we are people. And being able to see what people are capable of um, has definitely kept me inspired and kept me keep go kept me uh, being able to keep going, um, going on social media and seeing what you know how somebody's managed working and homeschooling their children and being able to do all those things is pretty it's pretty amazing, and and being able to see the strength and initiative and creativity of women, uh, particularly because that's most of the people that I talk to and, and are around, uh, seeing seeing women do different things to get through these difficult times and stuff, I think is really what's, what's kept me inspired to keep going during the hard times and through the hard times. And um, I think that's what we need to keep watching for. We need to keep looking at people and how we can stay connected and how we can um, how we can work together to get through these tough times. Be vulnerable, ask for help, ask for support, um, and all of those little extraneous things don't really matter. Do I shave my legs or not? Do I, do I wear makeup or not? Do I dye my hair or not? Do I care what other people are thinking and about me? Um, all those kinds of things, just do your best to let them go, right? Um, and pay attention to your self-talk. Um, we all have moments and times where we, where we feel inadequate and it's really hard to sort of harp on ourselves for, for that inadequacy or that feeling of inadequacy, um, but really when it comes down to it, none of that stuff matters. What other people think of us. Um, it doesn't really get us to where we need to go. So I guess my advice for the next generation of women is to be strong and to push through adversity and find your people who support you in that. And those that don't, that's okay. Not everyone has to like you.